we will stand up again, we will march again, we will preach again, we will organize again. We are black, we are white, we are Latino, we are Native American, we are Democrat, we are Republican, we are independent, we are people of faith, we are people not of faith, we are natives and immigrants, we are business leaders and workers and unemployed, we are doctors and the uninsured, we are gay, we are straight, we are students, we are parents, we are retirees. We are North Carolina, and we are here, and we ain't going nowhere. A few days ago, matter of fact, uh, less than a week ago, I stood by the coffin of a young man, 23, 29 years old. And this young man, uh, last week, had been gunned down by one of his peers, allegedly. Uh, as I prepared to minister to that family, it was brought to my mind words that were quoted by the prophet Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 21. And Jeremiah made this observation. Death has climbed through our windows. It's broken in our bedrooms. Our children can no longer play on the playground because they're falling dead. And our young men and our young women are collapsing on street corners. They're focal collapsing even now. And I think Jeremiah was very prophetic in his statement that those who are collapsing because they're weighted down by lack of health care that those that are collapsing because of uh, the inequities as it relates to uh, our voting procedures, that those who are collapsing because of unequal education, that those who are collapsing because they are overworked and underpaid. And uh, I hope that through efforts like this and people like you that will continue not only to heighten the awareness, uh, but address it through the proper resources, through the necessary amenities, that those who are collapsing under the weight of those things that are happening in our society may be able to stand. And having done all the stand, they'll stand. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you.